But Hogan had to watch out more for Raven because Raven was an overact coming in to WCW. You talk about a guy who made the, the cover of the video game, WCW versus yeah, NWO. Yeah. With the NWO, like the WCW guy you picked was Raven. I mean, that's a guy, I'll, I'll go, we'll talk about it, but I owe my career to that guy. I say it all the time. And Raven should have been a much bigger star and made millions of dollars in this business, much like a Sabu and other guys that, that gave everything. I, I'm interested now. So Hulk and Raven then. So uh, this is off the top of my head. I'm sure you'll correct me, but he starts appearing in the crowd for m weeks or even months on end. Or in storyline, he's got a really special contract where he can basically dictate his own terms. You come in quite soon afterwards. But you mentioned Hulk and Raven then. So Hulk, Raven was on Hulk's radar very early. If he wasn't on his radar, he was on the radar of somebody close that was giving him tabs about Raven being over or here and there. But with the hype and with everything, and obviously Raven had a great introduction by not wrestling and getting the character over and having me there to take all the punishment. I mean, I think it was like eight weeks of contract negotiations and holding hands with J.J. Dillon yeah. and dragging him down to the thing. Dude, I have to say about that segment with... That's probably my favorite, one of my favorite segments of all time is being able to riff and improv with J.J. Dillon and Gene Okerlund live in front of a crowd. All that stuff was not even rehearsed. Like, you know, you had your bullet points that he's going to tear the contract up. He's going to hit me. We didn't even have an outline, but that's what we had Gene Okerlund for. And just the, like I saw so much potential in that. And even J.J. like, like legitimately playing it up super serious and me Hulk dragging him by the hand and telling him he needs the exercise. Like, like that's what's missing today of being able to kind of make fun of the authority figures and make a, them kind of a goof on on the situation. I I find it quite sad almost that the flock never really mixed with the NWO at all. And now that you've said, well, Hulk Hogan saw Raven and how popular he was, do you think it was do you think maybe the Ravens flock thing maybe would have been more popular, but the fact that they already seemed like they were going to be maybe popular enough to maybe challenge the NWO in that sense sort of kept them a, a rung below? Yeah, I mean, there's a saying, I don't know if Dutch ever brings it up, but do good, but don't do good. What was it? <clears throat> Sorry, I was coughing all over that. That's I muted okay. it, but... How dare you. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, say it again. There's a saying in the locker room most times, do good, but don't do too good. Uh -huh. You should do too good, theoretically, but sometimes when you do too good too fast, you get on those radars and you don't have the political strength or affiliations to prevent getting buried mm. or prevent getting your legs cut out from under you, which I believe Raven in the end, like you look at his contributions, especially in WCW, uh, he was the first guy to give Goldberg a competitive match that that made sense and made Goldberg even more over. But Goldberg was selling for the first time and got more over mm. as a baby face in the end. That's Raven. Raven put that together. Raven made that happen. And Raven brought Goldberg way up to the next level. Yeah, I love the... Uh the flock where it, I'm sure Raven describes it where I can't remember, but it's essentially almost like the com comedy way of doing a run in, but only one at a time. Not dog everybody go. Show. What was that? Dog and pony show. The dog and pony show. Yeah. I, I, it's so classic wrestling that it doesn't make sense to anyone who doesn't get wrestling, but within the sphere of wrestling, it's the best thing in the world. I would tell somebody if they're ever in a real fight, it looks like the recreated NWO surrounding sting in the ring. It's not going to end the same way. <laughs> They're not going to feed you one at a time to get jammed with a bat and wait. 